Okay. Um, I want to do like a news of the day kind of thing based on the fact that Jake Dotchin is now being bought out. Uh, yeah, the Tampa Bay Lightning have put him on unconditional waivers for the pur- purpose of a contract termination. And they're stating that it's a material breach of his contract. Now, it depends on who you ask. See, this is a team that benched him not that long ago during last season due to some issue that they... I can't find that they ever actually said what the issue was, but clearly there was some friction between Dotchin and the organization. Now, uh, you'll notice that they got a new GM, and the first thing the GM did was say, Jake, you're out. And I, he seemed like a guy that, A, yes, I know there's been hits and plays by him. There's a moment. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan, mostly. Uh, but, you know... It's always felt to me like he's one of those guys who may not be very popular with management. And this kind of shows it. Uh, He'll get bought out. My guess is that somebody is going to pick him up because teams need defensemen. But this is going to be tricky for him. Um, I don't know anything else other than it's a material breach of contract. And uh, there were rumors that maybe, uh, and this came from Joe Smith of The Athletic, who said that uh, the Lightning weren't happy with his conditioning. When he came into camp, so he wasn't on the ice this morning when they when they took to the ice for the beginning of training camp. So people started talking right away, and then this news came out. So there you go. Uh, yesterday, uh, Eric Carlson gave an emotional farewell to Ottawa, and it was clear to me personally that I don't think he wanted to leave Ottawa. I really don't think he wanted to. So while we're all circling around and going, "Oh, here we go, here we go," he's in San Jose. This is exciting. I don't think Eric Carlson sees it the same way. I think he's uh, still processing what's going on. He spent his whole career in Ottawa, and I don't think he intended to leave. I think it was Ottawa saying, well, if you want that much money, see ya. And his his, his attitude is, okay, well, all right, I guess. And uh, so I think that's ended really badly, and he'll get his money from San Jose. Uh, people are asking, well, how can they do that? Well, it's simple. Uh, Thornton came back for one more year. And when this season's done, that $5 million comes off the their cap. Uh, and Carlson's currently making $6.5 million. If we can agree that he's worth $11 million, that's $4.5 million. They've got the money to sign Carlson. It shouldn't be a big deal. And replacing Thornton is a big deal. But San Jose will figure out a way to do it with Carlson and Burns on the blue line. I tell you, that's that's just, there's so much danger. We may see some Edmonton Oilers pond hockey out there. They might be winning every game 7-5. to five. Uh, Jones Jones might need a couple of water bottles back there. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. That is, unless, unless Carlson really is 100% recovered, which he states that he is, and he is a pretty solid defenseman at both ends of the ice uh, when he's got his mobility. So if he's got that back this year, yeah, the San Jose Sharks are absolutely contenders. Uh, as I stated earlier, uh, this is the day where most teams uh, are starting their training camp. There are some that are starting it on Monday. And this is when we start finding out which players are in the lineup, which players are not, which players are going to get traded, and who's possibly on their way out. Interestingly, of course, uh, there are teams like Vancouver and Florida who may just have too many players on their roster. So over the next couple of weeks, I should be able to do these little news things for you guys to kind of catch up but i didn't i didn't figure that the dodgin situation was worthy of a video all by itself so i figured i'd throw in a few other things uh let me know what you guys thought uh of course pierre dorian had a news conference as well and i i i have to say this i feel bad for dorian i think he gets his walking orders from from uh eugene melnick and i think he has deadlines and i think he may very well have looked at the trade they made yesterday and said i i don't know and Mel looks like, well, get it done because you've got training camp and get it done. Time's up. So it may have been the best deal he was able to make under the gun. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, an interesting season. And with uh, the, the Zetterberg LTIR retirement, uh, that does open up a spot on the team for, for Detroit. So, yeah, I'll do my best to bring you guys news as I get it. Uh, and as far as I know, and I'm going to go ahead and just scroll through one more time here. I didn't see anything else. Uh, of course, is Pajot. Um, they have an article on TSN on, on, uh, Joe Murphy, where he says that he doesn't need money, but he needs help. So he's, he's admitting he needs help. And anytime that somebody needs help, and of course he is, um, 
he is currently living on the street, so or he was. I think he's been taken care of at this point, but yeah. Uh, it'll it'll be interesting to see what happens with him and how many other players we find out are struggling after hockey. Uh, oh, other news that was reported as well is the Ottawa Senators were willing to limit their return in order to move Carlson, but uh, yeah, there there just there just wasn't the market with it with with Bobby Ryan tied to it. Look what they got with Carlson and think of what happened if they had uh, actually tied Bobby Ryan to it. You might have got a second round draft pick and that might have been it. It's it's insane, but that's that's insanity for another time. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the news of the day. Uh, who are you excited to see in training camp? Which players are you really excited to finally see on NHL ice? And which players are you excited to see playing for a new team this year? Because that's always the thing too. Everything that's everything shiny and new again. And of course, there are 31 teams currently in the playoffs. Nobody's eliminated until much later in the year so right now everybody's optimistic all fan bases are optimistic except maybe a couple but hey uh by all means it's early uh pick a team in training camp that you're like all right i'm gonna follow this team this year and i've done that uh, i've had years where i remember uh back i'm trying to remember which year that was that i was watching uh nhl center ice and i i would i would just pick up on a team and watch their games for a while so for a couple of weeks, I would just watch that team and follow it. And it was the Kings. And it was before they won a Stanley Cup. And I was like, you know what? These, this Kings team's pretty good. And maybe they're going to be pretty good someday. And they didn't make the playoffs that year. But I was like, this could be an interesting team. And then yeah, and then they won a, won a couple Stanley Cups. I should have bet money on it. Oh, well. Uh, I don't do that. I don't gamble. And uh, somebody's going to take a gamble on Jake Dotson. That's my guess. Uh, I would think that once that, that buyout goes through, somebody will pick him up for league minimum or around that, and he'll he'll get another shot at a job. He's too young. He's a defenseman. It'll happen. But let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.